What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we're we'll going over the update overview for the, I think it's 8-2 update, uh, yes, 8-2 update for Grand Cross, man, and kind of letting you guys know everything that came with the Holy War Festival 2.5 anniversary event, and uh, explaining it all to you guys, so let's hop into the video. Before we actually hop into the video, make sure to subscribe to your boy Amazing. We are on the road to 25k subscribers, man. At the time of recording this video, I'm at 24,170 subscribers on the YouTube channel. You guys have been showing an insane amount of support, man. And another thing to know as well, guys, I do have a giveaway going on right now. Um, I did upload the video before this one, so uh, if you check out the channel, um, if you do want to enter in to win a Esterosa account, um, a very nice Esterosa account, definitely check out that video. I will link it in the description. Uh, but with all that out of the way, let's hop in and talk about the other update and uh, everything that came with it man all right guys so the first thing that came with the update is going to be assault modest rosa's banner himself so if you do want to summon on the banner you know i have made a should you summon already kind of talking about uh if the banner is gonna be worth for a lot of players but the banner is available now and uh in terms of the rates for the characters this is what's gonna look like so the festivals are are, are all gonna be 0.25 percent rate up and the rest of the characters are gonna be uh point uh about almost like 0.2 percent um and they're all just split between the quinchop commandments and the uh, archangels right there so the banner is okay it's not anything too crazy um but if you guys do want to summon on the banner it is available and uh yes sir that's going to be the esterosa banner let's talk about esterosa's kit now and kind of explain what he's able to do as well for anyone that does pull Esterosa from the banner, first card is going to be Covert Action. So it's going to deal damage equal to 500% of attack on one enemy. Covert Action is going to be 50% uh, damage dealt per darkness on the target. And uh, I'm going to explain what darkness is in a bit, uh, but we'll continue with the cards. So uh, uh, second card here is going to be Frenzy. It's going to be Flood Damage equal to 500% of attack at rank 3. 0.8% uh, additional damage for every percent of remaining HP on self, which is very, very good. Um, Esterosa's ultimate here, Evil Hound. Um, depending on the dupe level, obviously, guys, um, this can change. I think at 1 to 6, it's going to be just attack. 3 to 6, is defense is added. And then uh, 5 to 6, I think HP is added as well. Um, but this is the Esterosa. So decreases all allies' uh, attack and defense by 20% for 3 turns. Then inflicts resonance damage equal to 456% uh, of attack on, on all enemies right there. And then resonance is going to be 15% damage dealt for every buff, uh, debuff, and stance on the target. This is at 3 to 6. So, you know, bear that in mind, guys. Um, but yes, very, very good. Um, first commandment here. Commandment of Love, Truth, and Reticence removes one buff applied to the hero when the hero uses a skill in PvP. Applies to both allies and enemies when entering a battle. Very, very good. And then for his passive here, uh, if an ally is a demon or has a commandment and inflicts damage on the enemy, applies darkness on the target, right? So darkness. Um, so darkness is going to be uh, increased damage taken by 10%. So uh, that character that has darkness on them will take 10% more damage. And then if the target has four or more darkness effects, additionally implies Enroach. Enroach is actually going to be all stats minus is 40 percent um and it's gonna keep the darkness stacks right there right um so it'll apply in roach but it's gonna remove so as it says right here darkness is also removed when the effect disappears does not stack so darkness will all it will all be removed uh when in roach is removed as well uh, on the following turn so it's only gonna be for one turn for in roach so it will leave literally the turn after you attack um yeah and then increase allies basic stats by five percent for every darkness effect on the enemies up to 10 times which means you get 50 percent basic stats for the team as well Berserk Esterosa is a very crazy unit, man. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the Esterosa and the banner. Let's talk about the next thing in the update, which is going to be the story. So I actually already did the story, but uh, I guess I can show you guys the uh, that it's available. Um, if you do replay story, so 23, at the end of chapter 23, you do get 30 gems. Um, if I'm able to show it maybe through here, this will be a lot easier, yeah. Uh, so the end of ch uh, chapter 23, you do get 30 gems, guys. So you're able to get that now that it's available. And another thing to know as well is that you're not able to get the 30 gems from the chapter itself, but, uh, you know, for uh, chapter 24. But there is a stage, as you guys can see, that does drop 30 gems. So definitely make sure to do the story. You'll, you'll basically get another 30 gems in the story, alongside the fact that you've probably gotten the 30 gems from chapter 23. Um, but that is available. Definitely take advantage of that. And uh, you will be able to get another 30 gems which is going to be a multi uh if you do want to use it on the s rosa banner all right so the next thing that's going to be with the update guys is going to be uh the outfits here for Esterosa. so the Esterosa outfits are available um you can purchase them right now um individual purchase for the outfits will be uh starting on august 16th so if you do want to pick up the outfits for gems you will be able to purchase them for gems starting august 16th but till then they're going to be paid for um so if you do want to pick them up they are available 
All right, guys, so the festivals that are going to be available in the coin shop are going to be Assault Bow, Meliodas Festival, Zeldris, Margaret, and Kusak. So if you do want to pick up these festival characters, they are going to be available for purchase um, for three festival coins each. Uh, bear in mind, you can use old festival coins if you do have them as well, if you are trying to exchange for these characters. Only, I would only recommend doing it, guys, if you'd already have the character 6 out of 6. I wouldn't recommend doing it unless the character is already uh, maxed out at 6 out of 6, and then you use like an extra copy uh, to pick up one of these characters right here. All right, guys, the next thing that came with the update is going to be the artifact card set here. So the next artifact card set that actually came out, if we go to set bonus here and we scroll all the way down to the bottom, uh, we're going to see the brand new artifact card set, which is going to be damage dealt increase. So it increases demon allies damage uh, dealt to other races by 2% and decreases damage taken by 1%. And this can scale up to 10% damage dealt increase and 5% damage reduction to all other races, which is so good, man. Such a good uh, card set definitely benefits uh, the demon team for sure um and you will be able to get this throughout the uh, anniversary event i so far only have uh the uh you know um i forgot i think it's oslo right i only have the oslo right now but uh yeah the rest of the cards will be getting throughout the event all right guys so in terms of the brand new holy relics i'll put them on the screen here because you know in instead of going through every single character um it'll be better if i just show it like this so um the characters that got holy relics is going to be the small dn uh the ragnarok small dn regular matrona and uh festival zelda so the uh, holy relics that we got um regular uh, small dn is going to be heals hp by 30 percent of max hp if a critical strike occurs when the hero attacks an enemy so anytime you attack and you crit the enemy you're actually going to heal 30 percent max hp which is very very good it's actually a good relic uh for tang dn in terms of healing um even for like the bird let's say so that's actually really good and then uh, for the uh, second Holy Relic, there's going to be the Ragnarok Dian. In PvP, Ragnarok allies and the heroes uh damage uh, taken from skills during the enemy turn will not succeed 50 percent of max hp uh which is really good obviously uh increases attack related stats by one percent for every six percent of remaining hp when using skills applies before skill activation so guys that is a festival merlin uh if you guys know festival merlin's passive that's basically festival merlin's passive given to the whole team uh if they are ragnarok allies so broken i love dn's uh, holy relic that's definitely a really good one uh moving on we have matrona here which is going to be uh fairly easy just increase uh, giant ally basic stats by 25 percent just outright which is really good um it's going to benefit uh red matrona as well in terms of using her on the bird because that means she just uh, in general 25 uh, percent more tanky which is really good and then uh, yeah and then uh Zeldris here his holy relic is going to be decreases debuff enemies attack related stats by 10 percent when using skills so anytime you attack um and you have a debuff into someone that has festival Zeldris backline or even on the field um you will be lowering your attack related stats by 10 percent when you attack so that's going to be the uh, Holy Relics right there. Moving on, guys, we got the bundles. So the bundles that are available um, will be the pretty standard uh, bundles here. So you have the, uh, you know, um, the $100 pack, basically, um, the $40 pack, uh, the $10 pack, basically. And all these are going to be available uh, uh, for purchase if you guys do want to pick up that. And then in terms of the bundles here, um, I did actually purchase, I think, uh, two of the bundles. So I'll put it on the screen, I guess, uh, because I did actually purchase um, a few of them. But uh, we have the all-in-one uh, limit break bundle. Um, you have the 2.5 energy anniversary costume enhanced bundle the uh 2.5 anniversary stamina bundle the limit break bundle the pendant bundle the engraving stone bundle the diamond discount bundle and the lucky bag bundle so that's all going to be available if you guys are willing to make uh purchases on grand cross um they are going to be available and then the another pack that actually did get added is the skull and hottie pack as you guys can see so if you don't want to do skull and hottie because i know skull and hottie is super difficult right now if you do want to actually pick up a holy relic for demon or giant characters um you can pick up school and hotties uh the school and hottie relic uh in the shop for 40 usd another thing to notice about the school and hottie uh you know uh bundle here is that it's gonna reset one uh one time per month so you're able to actually get it once a month uh so if you do want to pick that up uh that's gonna be once a month all right guys so the next thing that got added is actually going to be with the knighthood boss battle um it actually is a improved knighthood boss battle ranking system now um so i'm not sure if it's like this now or how it actually works let me see in individual yeah okay so individual ranking so this is where we can actually um see people's teams that they're using and also gauge uh you know how high you can actually score with your team so this is really good this is a good update because it shows you the teams that people are using on hard normal extreme to get these uh such high scores for guild boss so if you are trying to push you know for uh you know guild wars whatever the case this is actually gonna be a really good update because it lets you see people's teams and know what's gonna be good in terms of scoring for high points 
there are a bunch of other uh, miscellaneous updates guys so they got some like ui improvements to like the uh, artifact card sets and stuff um the skip battle uh, function in brawl was improved there's a bunch of other stuff right there um it's not anything too important so i won't really uh, talk about it too much um but i did want to make note about the knighthood one because that one's actually very important in terms of you know scoring good score on knighthood boss battle all right guys so the next thing that came with the update is going to be the login bonus here so you actually go to elizabeth here we will be able to see um obviously i've already logged in a few days or already into the login bonus but this is going to be the whole login right here you get a total of 180 gems i think it's uh how many pendants is it? it's like six um six i think it's like 15 pendants um you get like 5 10 15 20 25 uh sa coins and then like a ton of just enhancement uh you know potions at that point man so uh yeah definitely a really good login bonus it's available for the next 28 days on login on grand cross so definitely make sure to check in daily all right guys so the next thing that came with the update is going to be the holy war festival here uh events uh page so this is going to be the events page these special missions are going to be available here as well so it's going to be draw i think it's what what does that say seven times or five times oh no i think it's three times right there draw three times um use the exchange shop five times clear the soldiers dungeon two times um deathmatch three times uh for the uh new deathmatch basically um the uh what's it called the mech we'll talk about that and then the uh, hawks dreamland event you want to get it to level 50 so far i've not gotten that event to level 50 um but i will be making a video on how to you know progress really quickly in the hawks dreamland adventure event uh we'll, we'll talk that uh, talk about that in another video all right guys so the blessing of the demons event is available if you guys are trying to you know uh get some bonuses here um so far i've gotten to level two here and basically all this event is guys is that you're going to be getting points every single minute you get one point um and you're going to be able to use the points to get uh, bonuses here throughout the event so that you can you know um, get extra rewards when doing things in the event so just as an example so um these are going to be the always on during event ones so i have you know a plus one when clearing soldiers reward dungeon excludes guaranteed rewards so I actually do get an, an, an extra reward uh, when I do clear the uh, Sogris dungeon. And you guys are able to just basically pick out a ton of these things, man. So you're able to get um, a lot of stuff there. So um, it is going to be available. And uh, yeah, that event is going till the 30th of August. All right, guys. So the next thing is going to be the Lamech event here. Oh, wow. It actually went up by 1% the moment I clicked on it. But yes, the Deathmatch Lamech event. I did make a video on how to three turn without Astral Cell and Deanne. Definitely make sure to check out that video if you guys are interested. Um, but this is going to be the Death, uh, Deathmatch Lamech. And the rewards that are available is pretty good. Um, you are able to get a good amount of rewards here in terms of the exchange shop and the reason why you guys are going to want to do the event every single day three times is because as you can see the cumulative score um everyone's going to score together um will actually get us rewards so we're almost going to be able to get 30 gems i think we'll probably get the 30 gems in about two days from now um, but we are closing in on the hourglass here which is very good um because you guys know like just getting like an hourglass is really good 10 uh you know ssr pen is really good and the uh, 30 gems is uh, another really good um reward there but we already have achieved these first three rewards um and we're going to be getting the rest of the awards but yeah the lamech thing i will link in the description my three turn guide if you guys are interested um but yeah that's going to be the deathmatch lamech returns all right guys so the next event is going to be the wish box event and another reason why you do want to do uh the lamech event is because you're going to be getting these wish keys which actually get from the deathmatch cooperation event and you have to do the lamech boss to actually get these keys and basically how this works is that you're going to get a tier right so every stage um you're going to get a tier of rewards and you're going to be able to pick which ones you actually want to uh you know select in terms of the rewards and then uh you just basically roll for it like it's a gotcha and you can see what rewards are available within the uh, pulls here that you can actually get so worst case scenario you'll have to do what four multis and then on the uh, final single you'll get it um but yeah man so uh that's going to be the wish box event it's going to be going on until the 16th of august all right guys so the next thing is going to be the dream law uh dreamland hawk adventure event um so this event is basically just your standard idol event that we've gotten um every once in a while and uh basically all you got to do is just idle the game you let the game do its thing you have to make sure you open dreamland hawk adventure before it starts idling by the way so make sure you open it and uh these are going to be the rewards you're going to be able to get for the level um total that you're going to be at so as you guys can see uh in total so 21 plus 13 plus 10 makes it so that i'm at what is that level like 44 
four, right? So I'm, I'm closing in on this reward right here, but you need to get level 50 to get the uh, exchange, um, you know, tickets right there. But yes, every uh, so often you will get rewards. You'll get these like little, like, uh, you know, cloud scraps and you'll get the, uh, you know, the boxes of rewards and uh, you can level up the, uh, you know, methods of attack. So you get the crit chance, crit damage and the normal attack damage. All right, so that's going to be the Hawks Dreamland Adventure event. Moving on, guys, we do have the King's Material Exchange event. So if you actually go over to King right here, you will be able to exchange for a bunch of good rewards here. Oh, I misclicked. Uh, you will be able to exchange for a bunch of good stuff right here, man. Uh, so if we go to uh, this event right here, um, you'll see that you can exchange the Holy Relic materials, the Enhanced Material, Evolution Pendants, and uh, things for other rewards. So if you go to like this, I think this one for the lower exchange was uh, Anvils, if I'm not mistaken, or SA Coins. And then this one is a Full Awakening Token. And then I think with these you're able to get uh cosmetic upgrades and then also anvils as well and then like there's obviously a ton of other rewards you guys can get um i've already done all the holy relic material ones the box exchanges um, but I guess I could I guess I could put it on the screen as well. Um, but yeah, so uh, all these rewards are going to be available to exchange if you do have the materials to exchange for it. The next thing that we have, guys, is going to be the diamond buyback event. So basically, every time you spend diamonds on anything in Grand Cross uh, for the next uh, 30 days here, you will actually get rewards for spending diamonds. So if you spend up to a total of 900 diamonds, you're going to be getting all these rewards here. So just a ton of cosmetic upgrades, some essay coins, hammers, anvils, uh, engraving stones, pendants, and uh, some more essay coins right there so that's going to be available depending on how many diamonds you do spend all right guys so the next thing that's going to be available is going to be the simultaneous clear uh death match thing so basically how this is going to work guys is once you spawn like the same death match um it can be of uh you know it has to be red demon gray demon or crimson demon but let's say you spawn like multiple at once and you clear one um so if i have like let's say i have like three red demons i clear one of the red demons it's going to actually clear the other two red demons that i have as well and give me the rewards for it which is really really good man if you guys don't want to play grand cross too much you know what I mean you don't want to grind too heavily but you want to get your demons done every single day you can do all six demons in only one demon run as long as you pick like you know one thing uh you know alone basically so uh that's very very good it's a really good update um definitely test it out guys it's really cool the only thing that's uh, a caveat right now is you can only use it on red demon gray demon and crimson um but you know hopefully in the future they'll make it so that you can actually do it on the uh, uh og demon and the uh, belmos demon but yeah for now it's only gonna be those three but definitely make sure to take advantage of this event we got a, a bunch of other buffs as well guys in terms of the update so we have main quest free continue main slash free stage 50 percent stamina times two player rank xp all villages are going to be open the material shop purchase limit increase the hero enhanced super success and ultra success rate up is increased and the salvage event is here as well so definitely make sure to take advantage of all of those events guys uh while it's going to be available all right guys the next event we're going to have is going to be the lucky bag event um half of the lucky bag event is paid for um but the other half is going to be free to play so you are actually able to get uh you know half of them i think you get three total lucky bags free to play um and if you do want to pick the other three up um you will have to actually purchase the lucky bags in the shop um but if you do um purchase the other two and you and you get these other two things as well at the end you will get 10 gems as well which makes it pretty good value i mean for what it is and uh, in terms of the rewards you can get from the lucky bags i'll put it on the screen really really good stuff from the lucky bag man uh, it is some uh, nice rewards right there that are available all right guys and then the final thing with the update if i'm not mistaken yeah is going to be the battle events here so you have the Jormungand battle event right here which is just going to give you some enhanced stones um so if you do want to clear that it's available and then the gila one is actually going to give you pendants so definitely make sure to clear this one at the very least and uh yeah you're able to get some sr pendants through there as well um but yeah man that's basically it in terms of the 8-2 update let me know if you guys are uh excited for the update and uh just been enjoying it lately um it definitely is a really good update man and uh, I'm, I'm excited for where grand cross is going man so that's gonna be it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe as always if you guys want to see more videos like this definitely let me know in the comment section below and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace out and have a great rest of your day